up, YouTube? Hey, we back. back on the back on the Channel TV. Guess what? We just picked up some more merch. I know we've been telling y'all that we sold out and ran out of all the sizes, but But well, we got them in the back, and we on the way to go mail them to y'all. Hey, I can't wait. That's like my job. That's I like thought you were giving me five. <laughs> but did you ever leave me hanging like that, little girl? <laughs> Y'all got that right? That was hilarious. Anyway, find the nearest post office. Uh, type in the comments and put the little crying, laughing emoji. All right. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Hit the little bell that way you get notified every single time we upload a new video. Let's get physical. Look, we're matching, baby. We always match. Huh? We compliment each other. Okay. Um. Can we eat before we go to the post? Nah, okay. cause it's gonna close. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got our food. I actually kind of, we all actually kind of like didn't just get it. We kind of like got it. Leah ate all hers. Nice done. Are you gonna eat this? <laughs> This one's too big. Most of y'all guys are eating. <laughs> we made it out of the restaurant, guys. Are you done? Huh? Can I turn my movie back up now? So now it's time to put my rap hat on. You know what I'm talking about? Gotta go to the south side and shoot this video real quick. Shout out to my boy uh, Renaissance from Fort Worth, Lil Flip. Gonna knock this out for y'all right quick. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna bring y'all to work with me again. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all see the behind the scenes, behind the scenes. But look who I found over here, man. Look who I found over here. I ain't seeing it's going down. Yeah. Hey, support your local music, man. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck with my nigga Lucky Lou. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? Already. Luciano TV, man, your boy Rolling Green. You know what it is, man. Put all the fun. I'm talking about filthy. Both my we in this hoe. Luciano TV, y'all niggas better subscribe to that shit, man. Hey, man, uh, hopefully my nigga Lucky don't cut this shit out of this vlog shit, man. Hope I get on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, what's up, man? Fucking with Lucky Luciano TV, goddammit. Stay tuned, my guy. Hey, man, you know what it is, man. Hey, man, you know I fuck with Lucky Luciano, man. Lucky Luciano TV, man. We got an album coming. We got a tour coming. I fuck with him, man. We grind hard. Now we grind smart. You work hard to work smart. You did. Fresh your luck coming soon, nigga. What up, Gold Toes? We about to get some real bread. Something that big piece, though, man. Right, Something that know, piece, man. Yeah, man. My birthday tomorrow, <laughs> man. You know I had to bring out <laughs> Clover Gang album, man. St. Uh. Patrick's Day. La Clover Nostra. Yeah, you did. I fell in love with my chrome plated woman. Say like, that bitch is famous right there. Right? <laughs> that, bitch that. that bitch famous. For real. Drake was in this hole. I just, what's up, baby? We're out here. What's up? Yeah. You know how I go down. FTR in the motherfucker. Buck. Ah. We sitting on this buck, look. You know how we do it? Buck high. Travis Scott initials. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Sicko mode slab. Time legend, do your research. Critic and the Kush. I blow. It's like an uppercut from Ritty. Elbows on my ride. Living 
Houston. Dad, dad. Say dad, dad. So here's the deal. Yesterday my battery died. My bad. I apologize. My battery died at the video shoot. Sunday morning. Today we're going to a new church. Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're back. About to go to church. The usual Sundays. Just vlogging. And um, we ate breakfast already. Be back with y'all later. So we're back from church, guys. We got this cute little goodie bag. Says welcome home. Oh my god. A book. Okay. That says welcome home. That's huge. I've been wrapped. That's huge. A cute little mug that says wrapped in love. So that's what we got in the day bag. We'll see y'all guys later. Yeah, you're done. Uh. Channel TV, the hoodies that we promised y'all. This is my favorite hat, and Kelly hates when I wear this hat. I was gonna wear it to the video shoot yesterday, but everybody in the house was like, please, Dad, don't leave the house with this hat on. <laughs> like, when did you even buy this hat? I mean, because it's cold outside, and it's, it's not comfy. that cold. It's cold outside. It's not this cold. He legit be thinking he looks fly with this hat. I look fly with anything, baby. Dad, I don't know no, no, you don't. Anyways, y'all see all hoodies. Go to LuChannelTV.com to purchase your hoodie. I think I'm gonna make some hats like these. Let me know if y'all want to get y'all hat like this done. Gross. Flap away. I have to get all the orders together, get all the sizes um, separated. That way, I get organized and it's easier for me. Whenever I get a new order, that way I grab a small if that's what you order, or medium, or extra large, and I don't have to go digging. And um, I actually love doing this. I wanted to show y'all, look, get a close up of this. Stay true, Food Channel TV. And it's actually very warm and cozy. It's not like a cheap hoodie. And this is a small. I feel like they run a little big. Just because Lucky was wearing a large yesterday and it just looked a little too big. And this is a small, like I said, I don't think the small runs that big. It looks big, but it fits perfect. If you haven't already, make sure you go purchase your merch. I wanted to talk about this new church. So, oh, okay, story time. Okay, look, Channel TV. I think this is so crazy, tripped out. Um, and I don't know, it's just God was speaking to us. God was calling on us. And um, I want to tell y'all what happened. So was it Saturday? Friday. Friday, um, me and Lucky were kind of bumping heads like every relationship. We're not perfect. We do argue. We do get stressed. We do get overwhelmed. Friday, we were having one of those rough days. Being that we have a huge family and just have a lot on our plates. Well, Lakey's the type that wants to move around. He doesn't like laying in bed and he just feels like he's not doing anything with his life if he's just sitting and actually just living the life of a dad and 
Um, he always feels like he needs to be working and I get it. But long story short, that day we were very overwhelmed. Y'all see how the kids come home and attack us and yada, yada, yada. We had been running errands all day and we got home and I was tired, but I had to do laundry, I had to do dishes. And he was just kind of like over it. He didn't want to be here. So he wanted to go and run more errands, which I felt like it was unnecessary, but whatever. Anyways, so he had to get a haircut that day. Um, and I was already just feeling like he was leaving me hanging because either way, um, he had to go get a haircut. And before that, he called me. He was like, hey, I'm going to pick you up. And we were going to go out to eat. So we're in the car and I'm already in that mood where I'm just like, whatever. And so we were bumping heads. And I get to telling him how I felt. Have the baby, we have the kids, we have to do just so much around here. It's like we never get a break. We never get to have a breather. And long story short, we didn't even go to eat. We come home and I'm just like, all right, are we gonna get off? And he's just like, well, I had to go get a haircut. And I was like, oh, here you go, you're about to leave again. So he goes, he leaves, I come in the house. I guess while he's at the barbershop, so this man just walks up in the barbershop. They're closed and um, Ace opens the door or whatever and he comes in, he's like, hey, can I help you? And he's like, yeah, I just wanted to pay for your customers a haircut. Lucky wasn't tripping. So the man comes and he stands right in front of Lucky and he tells him, um, man, do you have kids? And Lucky goes, yeah, I got five at home. And so he goes, I just want to pray for you. And, you know, Lucky's telling me this on the phone. Obviously, I wasn't there. Um, and he's just like, man, he started praying for me. He started praying over him. And he was just telling me that he just felt the Holy Spirit. Anyways, the, the thing is, this is the crazy thing. The man had never been in this barbershop before. He had never gone. He never even knew or anything. He was just driving by and... The story is he felt that he had to come in there. He didn't know who he was going to speak to or he who, like what God really wanted him to do. He was just doing what he felt in him to do. So that was, I need to stop here. And when he walked in, I guess he just was led by the Holy Spirit. And he ended up being right in front of Lucky and then ends up talking to Lucky and asking him, like, does he have kids? And... The guy had actually given him a card to his church. And so today's Sunday, and I just felt it in my heart that we had to go check this church out. We've showed y'all of our church that we usually go to, um, and it's, it's very big, so it's hard for us to have like an intimate relationship with God at this big church. Um, even though we do get our praise on and we do receive the message, um, whether it's the big church or small church, I feel like at this church is smaller. So we got to feel that. And let me tell you how amazing it felt. Like for real, for real. The message today was to not remember how blessed you are. Just because you don't have, you know, a fancy car or you're not eating at a fancy restaurant or you're not dressed in designer doesn't mean that you're not blessed and even if you do have that that doesn't mean that that's the re like the re by you having that does not mean that you're blessed the blessing is not the fruit the the blessing is where the fruit comes from that seed it's, it's just crazy to me like the it, it was just so as soon as i stepped foot in that building i kind of started feeling chills like throughout the whole service and it was just I loved it. So we're planning on going back. And that's what we did today. So yeah, I wanted to share that with y'all because it just, it touched my, it touched me. So I know maybe it'll touch one of y'all. Go, go record that. Anyway, let me tell the story how it happened. So the guy walks up in the barbershop. He says, hey man, I don't want to get my hair cut. I just want to see if I can pay for your client's haircut today. And so we we're like, okay, yeah. And then he wanted, he said, is it all right if I pray for you? I want to pray for you. He said he was passing by and something just told him he needed to turn around and pull up in that barbershop because somebody in there needed prayer. So he asked if it was all right to pray for me. And I said, shit, I need all the prayers I can get. Go ahead.
So he prayed for me. And then he gave me his card and told me to come down to his church. And we went to his church today. And it was pretty, pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Guys. What's even crazy? I loved it. Oh, What's God. even crazier is that we didn't even see the man there today. I oh, kept, yeah. I that, kept asking like That guy, so the guy when we went to church, I was looking for him the whole time. And he wasn't even there at that church. And I was looking at the whole church to see if I seen him. And yeah, I didn't what? see him. He looked like a Mexican man. And then I got home and back to reality. I had to wash dishes, clean the whole entire kitchen. And I had to get on the kids because he they had to do poop. their little laundry. He just took a poop, guys, and it smells bad. No wonder he was farting so much. Come on, guys. Hmm? He farted twice and Dad thought it was bad here. Come on, I'll do it. Diaper. Yeah, dude, change his diaper. Come on, puppy. You got to the diaper. You're such a good sport. No. Stanky booty little boy. You stanky booty little boy. Uh, made me have to go. Okay. <laughs> you guys, he's running away. He never wants to help change diapers. He took a diarrhea. Ugh. Houston, I love you. I don't okay. care. No, stop. Yeah. I didn't realize. Hope y'all enjoyed these vlogs and peace.